Hello, my name is Cesar Saavedra. I'm a technical marketing manager here at GitLab. In this short video, I'm going to cover three features introduced in GitLab 13.12. The first one is going to be support wildcards when including YAML CICD configuration files. The second one will be useful GitLab CICD information in the pipeline editor. And the last one will be group level deployment frequency CICD charts. So let's get started. So the first one we're going to cover is supporting wildcards when including YAML CICD configuration files. So I have this project and before using the wildcard, I need to actually actually create a couple of YAML files that I want to use uh, with the wildcard. So let's go ahead and create a directory and we call this one configs. And then inside that directory, let's create two files. The first one we can call my test job YAML. And in here uh, we will create a job, my test, uh, and which belong to a stage test. And here uh, we'll have a script that says echo. This is my test job in the test stage. Very good. So that should be the, that will be the end of this job. And let's create another file, another YAML file. We'll call this one uh, my deploy job.yaml. And here uh, we'll include these lines. Okay, so now I have two YAML files under the directory configs. And let's say I want to use those or leverage those in my main GitLab uh, pipeline. So let's go to the top level file uh, directory here and let's go ahead and create uh, a GitLab ci.yaml. We'll go to the CI CD editor and create new CI CD pipeline. This is a new feature here on the right side. You're provided with information about the create, you know, how to create a pipeline. This way you don't have to search through the internet to find information about uh, doing this. Uh, we provide you with very specific and useful links for you to go ahead and start with your brand new pipeline. For example, you can go to uh, CICD examples and in here you can peruse through this page and, and you know if you have a Java program or a Maven program, there's a variety of examples you can leverage and get started with, and it will make you faster in your development. There's contributed examples. There's also CICD templates included in GitLab. There's a, a Maven example here. And if, if you wanted to, you could leverage these. You can copy and paste these in your project. So this saves you time in creating and helps you create your first pipeline. So following this example here, we learned that the pipeline, a typical pipeline has a build and test and deploy stages. Let's go ahead and create a pipeline with those three stages. And um, it's actually given, given us real time information as to the errors right now. It's not finding the jobs. Uh, and the reason is because we haven't included any other templates. What we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and include using the include local, the YAML files that we created earlier. So we're using this, uh, this is a new feature in this release. So now it's finding uh, the jobs that we created earlier. And also for the build stage, remember we created two YAML files, one for the test and one for the deploy uh, stages. And now we don't have one for build. So what we're going to do is we're just going to include the uh, template from uh, auto devops so that um, it'll use the build job from auto devops so let's go ahead and let's combine those two and let's commit those two very good so this commit has launched a pipeline and if we go look at it it has the three stages as we defined uh, this is right now executing the build job from auto devops to build this application and then uh, my test uh, will be executed after that followed by my deploy and as you see bef uh, so before the my test will just echo a, uh, a print line and the same thing with my deploy so instead of waiting for the pipeline to finish uh, let's move on to the third feature introducing 13.12 that we're going to be covering in this video so this is the group level deployment frequency CICD uh, chart. Now in GitLab 13.10, uh, we introduced uh, a group level API support for deployment frequency, uh, which is one of the industry standard DORA metrics that measure the effectiveness of our, of our organization's development and delivery practices. Uh, they are simple and yet a powerful tool uh, to help leaders and teams 
focus on measuring and improving what matters in relation to their software delivery and operational performance within their organizations. Uh, deployment frequency measures how often the organization deploys code to production or releases it to uh, end users. So in GitLab 13.12, uh, we're introducing the group level uh, deployment frequency CICD chart. So let's see that chart in action. And uh, what I've done here, I've opened the project for GitLab.com and let's head to analytics CICD. And here you see uh, there is uh, deployment frequency and lead time. What's introduced in 13.12 is this chart right here. So for example, in the last week on May 26, uh, the deployment frequency was about, uh, you know, 14 1,405 deployments on that day. And as of today, so far, we've had 683. So uh, we have covered in this video uh, three features in 13.12. Uh, first one was support wildcards when including YAML CICD configuration files. This makes it easier to include many files that you've defined that you want to reuse in your pipeline by using the wildcard star. And uh, again, this makes you uh, more productive. Your code is easier to read and it's, it's less verbose. Uh, you have to include less lines in your pipeline. The second one was uh, useful GitLab CICD information in the pipeline editor. Again, this panel right here includes many useful uh, links for you to get started with your first pipeline. That way you don't have to surf the net uh, and try to find information yourself. This uh, information has been curated and selected uh, for you. And the last one is group level deployment frequency CICD chart. A couple of releases ago, uh, we introduced just the API. And then this, uh, this next MVC, we're actually now including the chart itself uh, for deployment frequency under analytics CICD deployment frequency tab. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. And until next time.